guys welcome back to my channel I'm sorry if my voice is shaking today because I'm so nervous for this video and you guys probably already know what it is because of the title in the thumbnail but I don't so I'm stressing myself out because I'm doing hmm, a huge huge transformation today and it's already made up the decision on my mind is completely made up i know that i want this i will do it today no doubt about it but i'm still nervous i'm trying not to be but i'm still nervous it's a huge transformation and i'm doing it myself actually i'll be more nervous if someone was doing it for me because i'm a control freak so uh, actually i'm happy that i'm doing it myself but i'm still very nervous about it and what we are doing today today oh yeah I'm sorry I'm just just shaking today I'm gonna chop all this hair off so just to give you a little backstory to this and why I'm doing this so the year is ending 2020 is coming to an end we are in December already and it flew by but it was such a remarkable year a lot of you are probably thinking it was like the worst year of your lives or something and it was really tough for me as well i think it was very tough mentally for everyone and in the beginning of this year i made a video it was actually i think it was like the e-girl transformation or something and it's very funny that video didn't age well <laughs> and i i I really laugh when I read the comments because a lot of people are like this video didn't age well because in the beginning of the video I'm saying how 2020 is such a special year and how I had really my hopes up for this year and it's such a remarkable date like 2020 is like such a round number that I thought it was like the year of change in a way in that you would be able to do anything that you wanted to so that was my hopes for this year and that would be uh, such a remarkable year and it was but not in the same way that i thought and i realized deep into the year like more towards the end of the year i went through all the phases like um being super productive when the pandemic started for them to become a little bit more not depressed but a little bit more uh, sad about all and not being able to travel and all the stuff that i had to cancel work by uh, all the fun things that you usually do were cancelled and not being able to meet your friends your family all of that then sunk into me and i also went through that phase of being a little bit more sad then to welcome another phase where i couldn't be that creative and had experienced for the first time anxiety in my life so i had anxiety attacks and stuff more towards now the end of the year and i struggled with that for a bit because i never had anxiety in my life so it was something that i experienced so i discovered a lot about myself this year and also we had the black lives matter movement and a lot of other movements that were very strong this year and made us really rethink our actions and our thoughts and realizing that the change for this year was really made deep inside and not on the outside i thought that it was going to be something that we are going to go out for our dreams and travel the world and do crazy stuff for this year and it was exactly the opposite when everything was taken away from us we had to rearrange our thoughts and make some inner changes because if something like this happens again or maybe for the next year we keep going through this it's important that we are stable inside and that we can rearrange our thoughts and learn how to live with uh, difficulties because it was a pandemic for us but sometimes it's another disease that appears uh, when you're perfectly healthy and the world is healthy and everything is going all right and then suddenly everything falls on your feet and you have like a disease or maybe you lose your job stuff like this happens and if you're not really well internally it's going to mess up with you and as a result of all these thoughts and this weird year i thought that i should end the year with a big change once again a inner change a it's not like inner because it's going to be like a aesthetic change but it's something that we really have emotional connection with which is hair and i was never very connected in that way i always loved changing hair and since i was like a teenager i wanted to dye it and cut it and i didn't have that emotional connection that most people have like oh my god are you going to dye your hair at 16 are you going to cut your hair oh your hair is beautiful i hate when people tell me that because i when i think about changing i already accepted the change and i'm so ready to do it and sometimes that 
comments from people make me have second thoughts and um, I think society in general really praises women's hair in a way that we feel almost trapped and that we need to have like long beautiful hair and not mess up with it, don't ruin it and the thing is there are diseases and stuff that make your hair fall out or people that are born without hair and it's such an emotional journey because society made you think that it's so important to have long beautiful hair, thick hair, all that stuff so all of these was running through my mind and I'm sorry if I'm just giving you a huge talk right now but yeah all of those thoughts went through my mind and I wanted to get my hair like this really short I had that in mind for a while and my thought process in the beginning of the year was to dye my hair like this or maybe dye it totally um, in really fun colors like blue and stuff like that and really ruin it in a way because bleaching gives a little damage to the hair so my idea was to do that first while I have long hair and then finish the year by cutting it and I need something different to be inspired and keep going forward in terms of creativity I feel like I need a change and I need to get rid of this I'm gonna dye it in the same color so um, really dark brown almost black and then cut it like this here are my inspo picks I'm gonna put it all over the screen and something else that I believe helped me making this decision is that I want to donate hair I wanted to donate hair for the longest time I once cut it like shoulder length and it wasn't enough to uh, donate so I was kind of sad about it cutting and not being able to donate it and this time I made more research and here in Portugal I couldn't find any places that were accepting hair right now hair donations but I found this organization, or I'm not sure how you say it, in the UK that accepts, like, I think the minimum is 17 uh, centimeters, which is a good length, while others only accept, like, 30 centimeters, which is a lot. They are called the Little Princess Trust. I was scrolling through their Instagram, I was so happy to see the little girls that they have there receiving the wigs it made me really emotional and it really gave me that extra shot of courage that I needed to just make this transformation and send the hair I'm not sure if they will be able to use this part of the hair that is bleached but I have like a bunch search for it but I have like a bunch of hair that is black so if they can use the black part I'm happy about it. I'm gonna leave the link down below in case you want to donate hair or in case you want to donate money and give someone a nice Christmas present. So enough with the super long talk, let's roll the intro and start the transformation. I'm so scared! Alright, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually give a really big cut and I'm going to just make some braids on my hair I think like four braids will be enough and cut it so I'm able to ship the braid uh, intact and perfect and put it on an envelope and ship them as a donation so I'm gonna start just dividing the hair I'm gonna divide it in half I'm gonna just split it down the middle and then split each part into two again and do this for sections after this I'm going to put like a hair tie here so here's what I'm doing this hair tie will be the first one that is marking more or less the length that I want this hair tie will be the one that is going to hold the piece that I'm going to donate which is all of this and this is the shortest part like this part is longer so I think it's gonna be okay for donation and I want to cut right above here so I think this will be enough I hope so I hope I'm not cutting too much and I'm gonna braid this part yeah just like this and then do the same with all the other sections okay half of the hair is already braided I'm gonna do the same with this part everything is braided I'm super nervous right now it's time for me to cut. I'm gonna cut right above this one. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna have a panic attack and I'm doing a TikTok at the same time, so pray for me. Alright, it's time to do it. I'm gonna be looking into that just because I'm recording a TikTok. Pray for me now. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my gosh. I... 
I'm so nervous. What am I doing? It's too late to back. Too late to back down. neighbors don't think I'm crazy look the amount of hair that I have and this is just one part I'm gonna faint now <gasps> I did it <laughs> oh my gosh this is funny this is actually funny <laughs> I love it okay so one braid is now up for donation all right next one now everything's gonna be so easy I done the first one which is the hardest one now I'm just gonna need to do the same to the others. It should be easier. Let it be faster now. Alright, last one is already cut it. <laughs> I'm feeling so happy. And honestly, I'm not nervous anymore because I'm loving it. I feel like I'm like younger. Alright, so I'm gonna show you all the braids. Here we go. We have four braids now here. So I'm gonna put this on an envelope and donate to Little Princess Trust. Alright, next thing to do is actually to dye my hair and I'm gonna dye it exactly this color. I bought a color number three, I think it's like the lady helped me at the store today and she said it was my color so I'm hoping it is. So now I'm gonna dye it, let's go! Okay, so I have the hair dye here already mixed, it's looking kind of khaki brown muddy shade and I'm just going to remove here the little ponytails the glove this kind of hurts okay. Ooh, I like it so much it's actually so cute how cute is this all right I'm gonna uh, call my mom to help me with this so let's go So the hair dye is all over the hair now, so I'm really feeling this look actually. My bangs are like pulled away right now. So yeah, this is how it looks. The cut, I haven't touched anything about the cut yet, so it's just exactly how I cut it in the beginning. But it's already looking good, isn't it? It's just my head, but I love these short haircuts when it's wet. So I think I will be rocking the wet look with a lot of gel in a lot of times. I want to recreate this kind of mood that I'm seeing right now and that I'm really loving but I'm just feeling really great actually. But yeah, I'm gonna wait like half an hour now and then wash it and finish up with uh, cutting hair and bangs and yeah see you in 13 minutes. I just washed it and honestly I really love it so far and washing my hair is such a difference now. It's so so much easier to put like shampoo and a uh, hair mask and everything. I'm gonna call my mom for help and I'm gonna um, shop my hair in um, fast forward as well but I'm just going to go by layers and really make it <laughs> in a line, really cut it in a line so it's correct and I'm gonna cut something like this as well um, to take some volume away I don't know the exact terms so don't come for me but that's what I'm going to do So I just finished cutting the hair and I just blow dried it and straightened it up a little bit so are you ready for the final reveal? Here we go! Oh my gosh! It's so weird but so cute. I'm so happy with it. I feel so fresh. I never had my hair this short unless it was like when I was really a kid, like five, six years old, so it's really, really a big change. I also chopped my bangs a little bit, just a tiny bit, and I'm just feeling it. I love it. I really love it. I love when it's just tied up like this, and I love it behind the ear like this. It kind of suits me. Does it? I don't know. I think so. I really like seeing myself with this hairstyle. Um, but let me know down below in the comments what you think about this big change of mind. How are we feeling about this new hair? Hair and all this stuff that can um, 
life can take away from us at any point so it's not good to be too attached with a certain hairstyle or too attached to too emotional attached to hair so i'm really happy that i chopped all off a new year a new hair if you want to donate hair or money to this beautiful institution that is little princess trust you can find the link down below in the description or if you want to do any other kind gesture this christmas go ahead and do it because i really feel like it's the perfect time to help others and that's it hope you guys liked the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and find all my other social media platforms down below instagram tiktok and depop where i sell my closet and that's it bye guys thank you so so much for watching and see you next week